Um, let me flip it this way. So, first, the pre-emergent that was being used on this field was prodiamine. Uh, barricade, which is a root pruner. So, as the Bermuda develops its runners and the runners attempt to tack down, those Bermuda runners are tacking into that uh, vapor barrier created by the barricade, by prodiamine, and it prunes the roots, it nubs them, so it prevents them from tacking down. And so you may start to get a little bit of a coverage, and then you get a uh, freeze, winter time sets in after that, and just zaps it, zaps it, zaps the root system, zaps the top growth, you know, Bermuda grass goes dormant, and so you're left with winter kill through and through. So to combat the wintertime usage of the field, they decided to oversee with rye after, of course, they, well, they put down the barricade first, then oversee with rye, or put, put down the rye first, then, then the barricade. And, uh, and instead of spraying out the rye grass, they elected to burn it out with 4600, just straight urea, um, which, in some instances it could work if it's hot enough outside uh, then it works but here in Knoxville we're in a transition zone so it just never does really get that hot here you know we yes we're in the 90s a couple days of the year we make inch close to 100 degrees but it's not that consistent high hot dry temperature of what would be required to burn out uh, perennial rye especially you know high quality rye like Eagle so, what we've got are these big ass bear patches here that just look terrible. And uh, so, and now that we know the, that that prodiamine was being used on the field, one we can stop that. We're we're gonna switch to Ronstar, um, and that will eliminate the majority of our issues. Uh, two, when it comes to fertility, we're gonna steer away from running quick release fertilizers. If we had the budget to put it on a you know every two week spray spray cycle then yeah we could run 46 or uh, we could even run things like you know triazone urea um but that's not in store so to maximize our bang for our buck we're going to switch to a slow release product uh utilizing you know ammonium sulfate and i'm thinking right now of going with uh harold's polyon st uh for the slow release uh our rep here Mickey Lovett, what's up, Mickey Lovett? Super knowledgeable guy and super impressed with everything he has to say. Super impressed with Harold's product line in general. So I think it's going to be a big, a great fit for at least our budget and what we're looking to accomplish with the fields. So that's the exciting news. You can see the progress is happening. It's still not great. Needs a lot of work, a lot of love. And the one thing we do not have on our side right now is time. We do not have time. We've got till August the 20th, and we're not gonna make that deadline at all. Um, but what we do have is a future plan set up, ready to go, so next year when we start rebuilding, we don't have to worry about this happening in the future, at least not to this extent. Some winter kill is unavoidable. Uh, so, you know, it's not like you know, we have a miracle for it, but when we're in the recovery process, uh, some of it can be avoided. So, no more prodiamine. We're going Ronstar. Uh, oh, and the damn ryegrass. We're never going to burn out the ryegrass with 4600. That's one, one lesson I learned when I lived in Augusta, Georgia. You don't burn it out. You, you spray it out. And the reason being is, is that the the rye will live long enough into the Bermuda growing time that it will rob the Bermuda of essential nutrients to take off. So, May 1st, we're spraying out rye. March, we're putting down Ronstar, Ron and starting May 1st when we spray out the rye, we're running slow release fertilizers, and I can't wait to document the progress that happens on these ball fields uh, I'm so happy I got called out on this and I'm so happy I'm gonna get to take over uh, the work and at least be able to consult on it from uh, here moving forward uh, coach Jones here he's 
He really, really cares about what he's doing. And that's what makes it so exciting for me is to have somebody who, who cares about what they're doing, cares about it for the kids, and you know wants to be able to, to showcase his facility here when it, when it comes to game day. And this is one of the nicest schools in the area, so they definitely deserve to have a field. Um, so this is the practice field. I can't get a shot of the game field right now because uh, they got a track meet going on. And I don't need to be recording a video right there while they've got it going on. So anyway, just wanted to touch base on that. Again, be sure to like videos, comment, subscribe, ask questions, uh, Call me names or whatever. Request anything you want to see that is turf, turf management related, ornamental, pest, uh, you name it. I'm willing to l at least attempt to make it happen here uh, and put it on video. Where you can use it as a, as a learning tool. Um, so please, please do that. I'm going to go home, eat dinner at 6 o'clock. It's 6.30. It's go time. Y'all have a good one.